All right, great. So, where do you want to start? Uh, should we do the icons first? Or let's just do the top oh, picture first. Yeah, do, do exactly what we done last time. Might as well. So I want to see how much you remember first. Okay, so it's this one, and then... Oh shit, what did I do? Uh... Mm -hmm. you, you did put it in there, right? Okay. Yeah, you put it in there twice now. Okay, you won't be able to see it, because it's clip uh, clipped to the top rectangle. So what you do is you control T to, to highlight it. Okay. And then drag up. Uh-huh. And then you click on one of the corners and hold shift. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Okay. And then enter. There you go. That's the first bit. And you said you don't want the uh, flare, so you can go ahead and delete that if you don't want it at all. Uh, alright, so... I'll just... I'd keep the darkness, because then you can see the text. But that one, yeah. Okay. I'll just hide it, make it invisible. Alright, cool. Um, and then the background, so... Go ahead and delete that, like, fully, because you'll change it every time, okay. and you can just press the delete button on your keyboard, too. <laughs> it's risky business. Alright. <laughs> it's risky. I'm so proud of this. Alright, right, so... Serious, serious. Alright. Control-T. You press Control-T to uh, do it again, and you make a hold shift and hold it so that it's the whole size. Of the background thingy. And then a little bit more. Okay, there you go. And you press enter to set it in its position. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do now is to blur it, you'll go to filter, which is at the top. Uh, it's the sixth one, no, seventh one along. Yep. Okay, and then you'll go to blur. And you hold, it, and then go across to Gaussian blur, the uh, that one, yeah. And then change it to. You can just drag it until it goes really, really blurred, like really blurred. However blurred you want it. That should be good, around about sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you press OK. So now what you'll do, so that you can see the text better, is uh, the opacity. So when on the on the uh, image, if you look where the layers are, just above the layers, like on the uh, layer, sorry, uh, like where you, where you are, okay. So where everything says header image, uh, patch button. Yeah. Uh, okay. So just above that, you'll see a bunch of buttons. So normal, and then yeah. opacity. Yeah. You want to click on that, oh. and then drag it down to whatever looks best. Uh, I'd, I'd say keep it below 50, 50 or below, because then otherwise it will get too bright. And, oh yeah, I'd say, like, 40 should be good for that. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you blur the background. Okay. What else? Oh, what now? What do you want to go on to? Uh, the icons. Uh, okay. So the icons are a bit harder. Uh you'll go to main information, which is where everything in the... well, where the main information is, I guess. Okay, okay. okay. It looks a lot, but that's just because the folders are open right now. Uh, the skill order is the first part. Let, let and me the, the folders, because they're going to give me OCD. Okay. Alright. Alright, cool. So three ability circles are the three abilities. Okay. Uh, so you open that folder. Yep. It is open, I think. Uh, oh, no. no. Yeah, there there you go. There it is. So, ability one, uh, obviously ability two, and ability three. Uh, it, just for just to show you how to do it, if you leave this one, which is on top of uh, ability one. Sorry, you kind of lagged out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if you delete layer seven. Oh, okay. Delete it. Okay. okay. Yeah, just completely okay. get rid of it, and then we'll show you how to do it again. Okay. So now you want to find that image somewhere on Google, wherever. Like, I usually get it from Mobifier because I know that's where everything the content is. 
and it's just easy to type in Jack's Guide and find it. Okay. <coughs> I'm looking. Okay, and then you want to go on one of the guides, doesn't matter which yep. one, one of the Jack's ones, and find the Counter-Strike one, because okay. that's the one you got rid of. Yeah, I've done it. Okay, so you copy it and then paste it. Okay, I've done it. It's going to be really small, yeah. so you press Control t Okay. And you, you're going to want to zoom in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoa, whoa. If you ever mess up, press Control z Alright. And then if you mess up twice, press Control alt z Okay. So that it keeps on going back. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, you do want to apply it. Oh, I do? Wait, I, I want yeah, to zoom okay. in for a sec, because... Uh... Oh, uh, you can hold Alt and scroll on your okay. mouse. Pug. And All it right. goes wherever your cursor is, so... Alright, so we got the image, what do we do now? Alright, alright, you drag it, uh, you drag the image, uh, you don't, uh, you don't apply it just yet. Uh, you want to drag it to the circle. Yeah. And then make it big enough to go, just slightly bigger than the circle. Do I press shift or not? Uh, I hold shift always when you're doing this. Okay, a uh, little bit bigger. There you go. And then press enter. Okay, so now where the layer is on the in the folder, uh, you're going to want to go between both of them and hold alt. And there should be that button, that little uh, icon comes up, and you click on it, and it goes right into the circle. Okay, done. And all right, cool. And that's what you will. That's what you'll do with all the abilities and the spells and everything. So you, the Alt button is in between the two layers is used quite heavily. Okay. So there's something to remember. Okay. Uh, and to edit the text, is there anything specific? Uh, you just get the T uh, T tool, which is there, and then you click on the text. Okay. And then it will open up where the text about it is, and then you just change whatever. Uh, yeah, information you want. Okay, so uh, that's pretty the, much it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the same thing is with the spells. Like, you, you just find the... I didn't do every single spell, which, in hindsight, I probably should have. Uh, actually, something which I will want to go with through with you is getting rid of one of the spells. So, that for Jack's top lane, you can take Ignite or Teleport. Okay. Uh... But let's say you should only take ignite. Uh, what you if you go to the uh, if you close the skill order and then go to spells the one that one. Uh, I've got a DNF. Uh, shoot me. So one's ignite and then uh, I've got spell D, spell F, and spell F two. Okay, so yeah, ignite is F. I got it. Okay, and then. Let's say you wanted to get rid of the teleport. Okay. Uh, which is the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just press the I, the little I, and it goes away. Okay. Uh, and if you wanted to change it, it's the same with you find an image of the spell you want to use, and you would clip it with the Alt function. So I would. To... So would I delete layer five here then, and then that becomes clipped with this one? Um. Well. Okay. So the teleport is layer five, and you don't want it to be seen. So it's clipped right now with the that. So you can. Yeah. I'd get rid of both of them. Like obviously, just press the I, because otherwise you'll have a black circle, okay. which is where it's clipped to. But that's you. And then to change Ignite, let's say you wanted to change it to Cleanse. Do you know how you do that? I'll let you see if you can figure it out. Uh, well, to be honest, I would just like copy layer. I would copy these two layers and then just change the image. That's what I would do. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is like go ahead and like, do yeah, it. I want to see how you do it. So okay. just because, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, you realize I haven't used this? Uh, no, it's fine. Alright, okay, so, uh... uh... All I'll say is you don't need to create anything new. How do I copy a layer, though? You shouldn't need to. Oh, okay. Oh, I shouldn't need okay. to? Yeah, uh, okay, so if you turn back on the spell F, which is the Ignite currently... Uh, yeah. Uh, that one, okay. So, 
you see the thing on top of it which says ignite uh, on the layer. Yeah. 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 So that is the image of ignite. Uh, and what you can do is you can delete that, or you can uh, make it invisible with the eye, and then find a image of cleanse um. off of. Or, or whatever one you want to change oh, it to. Oh, so I can just we add can... all the spell images and just, like, add yeah. them. For... Okay, that would, yeah. Um, that would be really good. Okay. And actually, uh, w I think we should go over the runes as well, considering we... Even though you know how to do it, you should... Uh, yeah, you might as well go over it while it's recording, so you... If anyone else doesn't know, or... Okay, okay so runes. Uh, this one's fairly simple, uh, because I put everything in it. You'll not... You won't need the internet or anything to connect to it so uh the text about the runes is the first one in there and then runes is the title is the next one mm -hmm. uh primary runes is the first uh row so it's the keystone and the first three down so the conqueror the triumph the alacrity the coup de gras yeah uh the color code and everything so if you wanted to change the keystone to uh airy do you know how you do that? I do like that. Yeah, but you should also make sure that Conqueror, which is behind it right now, is taken off. So you go into the precision and click on the eye, okay. just so you're not overlapping. Yeah. And there you go. That's uh, easy. Yeah, that's it is easy. Um, same thing goes with every other every other one. Like, so if you try and change the row one to well, would something other than triumph? Okay. <laughs> I can't think of it. Uh, so I would first need to remove that, and then yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and that's basically all you do for that. That's not too difficult because the way I, I, I made sure it was set up, mm -hmm. it was even color coded. So yeah, no, that's that really, is. Really easy. Uh, yeah. And uh, I would do that with all the abilities, but that's a lot of abilities. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and then items, I guess we can... Uh, it's the same as everything else, but uh, there was something you did say earlier uh, about the items. So if you close the runes, like, there you go. And build then path. the build path, okay. yeah. <coughs> okay, so then there's a folder called items right at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then... So uh, you can choose whether you want. Let's work with the starting items for once, because there was, like I said, there was something which you wanted to talk about, uh, which was if you only want if there was only one starting item which uh, that champion runs. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know how you would? Let's say you wanted just corrupting potion. Uh, yeah, do you know how you? I I would just like go like um, I would just hide them like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is exactly what you would do. Okay. And uh, what you, also something uh, I would say always use where the corrupting slot if there is only one uh, yeah, one item which they use. Just, like, yeah. Look out of place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just to make and you know how to do that, right? Like yes. get the image. Yes, and, I do. Okay. Then that should be everything you need to know. All right. Fucking pug. 